Hey Cancer, welcome to your October reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. I really appreciate you and I hope that you're having an awesome day. We're going to take a look and see what messages need to come through for you for the month of October. Get you some insight, get you some patterns, and overall see what's going on, what you can expect. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. And yeah, Cancer, let's get into this. Let's see what's going on for you in October 2023. What is going on for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Show me clearly what do my Cancers need to know, look out for, or be aware of for October 2023. All right, we have the Gazelle. We also have the Dolphin. Give me one more for Cancer. Dragonfly. Cosmic Egg is at the bottom, which is very interesting, indicating that there is some sort of cycle closing out. You also have the Turtle and the Sea Serpent. Ooh. Okay. So, Cancer. There's a little bit of this restlessness I'm seeing from you. Feeling a little bit restless about your purpose, about your passion, about, you know, maybe the way that you're appearing in front of others, or... There's something here with the gazelle to the to the I was about to say zebra for some reason. That's interesting. The zebra's not here, but the zebra's all about like freedom and positive energy and believing in yourself and taking risks. So maybe that's something that you are being pushed to do. We have the gazelle to the dolphin. These are very conflicting energies. It's kind of like you're this could be a bit of self-sabotage here. I'm also kind of seeing a little bit of overthinking, over -anal Oh my god, you also have the dragon? You guys have triple spirit energy coming out. Like you are divinely protected. Don't you forget? Don't you forget, Cancer. I'm seeing in October there's like nervousness about something. You're feeling a little on edge, you're feeling a little bit on guard. Like things are going good, and you're like, hmm, this is a little suspicious. Is it? Is it cancer or are you just psyching yourself out here? The gazelle, you feel like you need to kind of keep your eyes peeled. You feel like you have to be on guard. You feel like you have to like be on the lookout. Um, you know, there's a difference between your intuition and your paranoia. And right now it could be a little bit confusing or you might be kind of struggling with, is this my intuition? Is this just my brain kicking in? Like, am I just overanalyzing or is there actually something up? There's something here that's making you feel a little bit restless or unnerved you're kind of on the edge of your seat we'll see what that's about maybe that's just current vibes beginning of october beginning of october you're feeling a little bit unnerved a little bit ungrounded a little bit antsy keep in mind we are about to be in eclipse season cancer ruled by the moon mm -hmm. so keep that in mind maybe that's part of why you're feeling a little wonky you're feeling a little bit funky okay maybe there's a little bit of a funk in the air but i do feel that by the middle of october you're gonna be feeling much more grounded much more free flowing much more in flow and in rhythm notice how in the gazelle it's like there's a circle in the back and it's like all this lines like lines like your straight edge like strict like a freaking you know like you just you're tense, super, super tense. And then with the dolphin, it's like there's this nice kind of rings, ripples out. It feels much more like kind of just go with the flow and just... <sighs> dolphin is the energy of being a shining light. This is the energy of being just like a bright ray of sunshine, like really optimistic, really positive, um, easily attracting an audience or easily attracting people who are of like-minded energy um i'm definitely feeling like i don't know there's something here with the dragonfly because this talks about your perspective this talks about the way that you take information in how you analyze it how you perceive it and like it is definitely showing that in the month of october your perception is kind of fluctuating it's like some days you see the glass half full some days you see the glass half empty literally the perception it it's comes down to you cancer so i'm kind of seeing you bounce back and forth they're kind of fluctuating between okay i'm going with the flow i like this i'm in a good vibe i'm in a good head state i'm feeling positive feeling optimistic and then other days we're like oh mm this feels a little off, I'm feeling a little funky, I'm feeling a little serious, I'm feeling a little scared, I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. There's kind of like this fluctuation of the two I'm kind of seeing. By the end of October, 
with the dragonfly as this is like the, the last card um the dragonfly this is all about being more like your your vision you will have more clarity about the next step about the future about maybe a choice or a person a relationship like you're just gonna have more clarity more certainty kind of like beginning of october you're lacking that clarity or you're lacking that concrete like certainty by the end of october things are much more things have simmered down a little bit okay um it kind of depends on like what you put your energy and your focus on that's what feeds this dragonfly because there is this expansion there is an expansive energy here um i also am feeling like um, certain emotions or feelings that you are experiencing right now gonna be completely different or normally the dragonfly kind of indicates like from being kind of foggy cluttered messy to crisp sharp clear and precise so there's i'm seeing that there is like something here that's gonna start to make more sense you might be more serious by the end of the month kind of like how you uh that, you know what that makes sense because at the end of the month the 28th we'll have that um lunar eclipse in taurus so that could be it beginning of october you feel a little tense end of october you feel a little tense but you're more in control of your thoughts you're more like i got a grasp i got a handle on this i'm not getting too overwhelmed beginning of october you're feeling the stress and the anxiousness and you're feeling a little bit unstable middle of october you're much more in the flow and you're like okay i'm riding the wave i'm feeling more optimistic end of the month you might be feeling a little bit more serious again but you feel more in control not so anxious feeling like you actually have the ability to kind of like shape shift your attitude and your energy i said that weird energy attitude okay mush those two together bottom of the deck we have the cosmic egg which does talk about like a cycle that's closing out this is self-mastery this is also awakening to your highest potential awakening to your gifts and abilities there is something that has been developing or growing with the turtle it's been a slow process even this whole cycle closing out um this transitional kind of stage that you've been in cancer especially when it's relating to your healing and triggers or wounds or you know self-worth that kind of stuff i'm seeing that it's been a bit of a process but it is something that is you can experience some sort of like breakthrough by the end of the month i am seeing that but you are needing to take your time don't rush don't skip a step hang in there okay let's get you some tarot messages let's get the specifics of what you can expect but yeah kind of like it's a little bit of just needing to go with the flow a little bit i don't know it's libra season libra season to cancer that's cardinal energy up here and it is creating that square which is a little uncomfy it's as a as a trend, or wherever you've got cancer in your natal chart feeling a little bit of that tension so it's a month of growth it's a month of learning for sure and again we're in eclipse energy so that is a little it's the icing on the cake you know although i don't know if you necessarily say that it's sweet eclipse season maybe it'll bring some sweet changes i hope so Are you cancer you deserve it what's going on for cancer in october 2023 thank you wheel of fortune awesome so what did i say you are in this stage of change and transition there is a lot that is moving there's a lot that is shifting internally emotionally there's a lot around you that's starting to change in the physical hell i mean where i'm at right it's fall the leaves of the trees they're changing colors this is a time where our efforts over the last however many months it's really starting to show our hard work and dedication is now starting to be harvested around this time um it's getting ready for the next step preparing for winter you know that kind of vibe it's like preparing for this transition of, of change and you have some sort of choice to make cancer two of wands at the bottom you'll have some sort of decision to make or okay we have strength and the star reversed you need to have belief that it's going to work out. I'm kind of seeing with the star reverse and strength, you're having a hard time staying optimistic about something. Or you're kind of in this like doomsday, five of swords. Ooh. Okay, but that, anyways, that's like further at the bottom of the deck. Let's keep it going, Cancer. What's going on for Cancer in October 2023? Page of Pentacles. So there's a small little 
offering or there's a small little some of you might be getting a gift i don't know why i just i was gonna say a small little gift a small i, I heard peace offering too maybe you're receiving some sort of gift or a small little offer a small little something something make it worth your while <laughs> tower okay there's something unexpected coming in cancer what is this let's see underneath the tower seven of swords the moon oh my god there is seriously these three cards in a row indicating that there definitely is something come this is relating to this page of pentacles there's something coming in that's like a surprise you'll be surprised by something we'll look into that page of pentacles because whatever that page of, unless i pull more cards maybe it'll tell us what it is but there is some sort of offer coming in or some whatever this is Whatever this new idea, oh, I feel like it's something physical though. There's something coming into your physical reality that might kind of like surprise you or something that you weren't necessarily expecting. It's connected to this change or it's connected to this transition or this, yeah. Uh, all right. Show me clearly what's going on for cancer in October, 2023. What's going on for Cancer? Oh, interesting. We have the Five of Swords in the reverse that came out. Ace of Wands. You may have something coming back around to start over or try again. Ace of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Four of Wands. It seems like this could be successful. Let me see here. You might... I feel like Cancer, we've had this message before, or like recently we've been saying like a redo or like an upgrade or like remodeling. I swear to God, Cancer, we've been talking about this for weeks, months, probably within the last month. I think September we were talking about this and here we have it again. Um, I'm going to clarify that, but this could be with a person. This could be in some sort of situation where you had to like leave or walk away or there is something that was like abandoned or... There's a lot of complications. We'll just put it at that. There were some complications. And it's interesting. I'm kind of, I almost feel like I'm getting this, like, an ache in my neck when I said that. It's like, okay. So, like, something really just, like, kind of threw you through the ringer. <laughs> um, okay. What's going on for Cancer? Page of Cups. So, I think you have a message coming in, Cancer. I think you may have some sort of, uh, I definitely am seeing conversations. Um, clearing the air opportunity to really like open up and speak from the heart five of swords and that page of cups this feels a little bit like there's some hurt feelings there might be a little bit of like wounded ego we'll clarify that we'll take a look into that could be with a fire sign aries sag or leo with the queen of wands but it seems like you know when it comes to whatever this message this communication this expression of emotion it seems like you're pretty open about it you might even be like expressing how you feel or like there could be a conversation that like helps de-escalate tension definitely feeling like there was some tension but like communications easing that a lot three of wands this could be something that you're expecting or you're kind of anticipating three of pentacles i'm seeing that there could be some sort of growth or you're you're expecting there to oops oh my god these cards <laughs> fell right on my hand you're expecting there to be some sort of improvement and you're kind of waiting on it or you're anticipating it could be and it could be in some sort of partnership connection relationship uh, between you and somebody else could be with a again i'm picking up on like fire sign energy could be with a leo sag aries we have a lot of fire popping out at the bottom okay what else can you tell cancer for the month of October. Judgment coming out. Okay. And the sun at the bottom. Leo showing up. I just said Leo. Some of y'all are straight up dealing with a Leo. Nine of Cups and Death. So there's like a desired outcome here. Wish fulfillment. Also Ace of Cups underneath the Death card. So changes in some sort of connection or relationship here. Changes in regards to your emotions and your feelings. What's underneath that Ace of Cups? The Eight of Cups. I see you being able to like move on or walk away or like let something go. Being able to kind of like let the past be in the past and like move on from whatever happened if this is like in a relationship for some you may have opportunity to like reconcile or rebuild or there is something that you're revisiting here it seems like it's a judgment call it seems like there's divine orchestration and if you've been wanting to like smooth things over or you've had some sort of desire to make some have some sort of change in this situation i do see you get that desired outcome it's a win-win outcome for you cancer let's do some clarifying let's see i'm like 
I'm kind of being pulled between my mermaid deck and my Illuminati deck. I'm feeling like, feeling like I'll use the mermaid deck for like the page of cups, kind of like emotional stuff. And um, I'll use this other deck for the other stuff. Okay, let's just, let's see. Wheel of Fortune for Cancer. What is this Wheel of Fortune about? What are these changes coming in? Show me clearly. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? What can Cancer expect? What are these shifts or changes taking place? What is this next step or this transition or this change for Cancer? Wheel of Fortune for Cancer. What is this change in October? We have the King of Wands. You found your fire. You found your passion. You got your flame back, I'm hearing. Um, you've gotten that inspiration and that drive. You feel like you're back in that chariot, back on your bullshit. <laughs> okay. And for at the bottom, maybe you're experiencing positive gains in the material world financially. Feeling like you actually have control over it. Oh, my ear is ringing. Take that as confirmation. Stop. All right, you're taking back control over your life, taking back your power, and you're feeling just really strong. Um, awesome. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. So this next transition in your life or this next change or this next chapter, October, I feel like things are really improving for you. Nine of Pentacles, especially when it comes to your independence, your freedom, your personal goals, and your abundance, your going places cancer nine of pentacles keep going keep pushing keep laying that solid foundation underneath your foot be intentional with your energy be intentional with the effort and the consistency like your your energy is really paying off it really is paying off i'm seeing that you're building um a foundation that leads to financial freedom good health it's a process knight of pentacles at the bottom it's been a process. It's something that's going to gradually improve over time. And seeing this is an investment, there's something that you're investing in, Cancer, and it's only going to get sweeter and better and better and better and better and better. Okay. Underneath that Knight of Pentacles, we have the Six of Wands, which is a card of recognition. What's underneath that? Page of Pentacles. Hey, we have that coming up next, y'all. We're going to look into that because remember when we clarified the Page of Pentacles, we had that Tower, the Moon, Seven Swords representing that this is something hidden or this this offer that's coming in, whatever this is, you aren't really expecting this or you didn't expect to land on this deal or we'll see what that's about. But yeah, so this is positive changes that's coming in for you, Cancer, in October and I'm loving it for you. You're in flow. You are showing up here just very certain of yourself very opposite of that gazelle energy that we were picking up earlier we're like okay you feel a little nervous you feel a little antsy you got to believe in yourself okay tell me about this page of pentacles why is this page of pentacles here for cancer how this page of pentacles for cancer why is this page of pentacles here tell me about this just checking is my dog upside down is it yeah, mo majority of it is. Okay. Page of Pentacles for Cancer. The Lovers. Okay, so you could be dealing with the Gemini. I see that this is um, some sort of soulmate connection or someone that is here to help your soul grow and learn. And uh, you may have, have an opportunity in love or a commitment, Cancer. Some of you have an opportunity to commit to something or take something to a higher level. I see that there could be some sort of like union or reunion for some of you tell me this page of pentacles page of pentacles i'm seeing that there could be something about contracts king of pentacles double double king energy out here with the six of wands Ooh. tell me this page of pentacles for cancer wheel of fortune reversed ace of wands why are we backtracking why are we backtracking cancer how do we go from the how do we go from let how do we go from the wheel of fortune you're like yeah progression movement yes you're establishing yourself your confidence your money's increasing the bag increasing and then all of a sudden it feels like there could be like a little delay or what is that wheel of fortune reverse are we gonna have to clarify the clarifier because what is that don't let other people get in the way. Or look at this. Six of Wands to the Wheel of Fortune. Because that's how the order it came out. Um, it kind of feels like there could be other people trying to stop you. Or distract you. Is that what that Five of Swords reverse is about? Let's see. Underneath that Ace of Wands. The Sun. 
judgment reversed. And the death card. There we have death coming out again. Six of cups. Mm -hmm. Again, Leo popping out. I feel like there could be external judgment from others who may not understand or see your vision or completely... What is that? Cancer, you got to pursue what you're passionate about, what drives you, what motivates you, what inspires you, regardless. And that's the dolphin. The dolphin attracts a lot of energy. The dolphin is someone who's like a beacon of light. And they naturally draw attention. They naturally draw an audience. They not People are naturally interested and curious um, about the dolphin. Um... And that gazelle, it's almost like there's that discomfort about being seen. Or like getting too caught up in their emotions of like worrying what others are thinking about you. Because King of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, this is telling me you're experiencing success and victory in your career and your status and the work that you do or if you're however you're making your money, you're experiencing good growth and you're pretty proud of yourself you should be proud of yourself this is an energy of achievement this is an energy of reward so then how do we go from that to then the wheel of fortune reverse where all of a sudden it just it's taken away it just completely like you know like that doesn't unless it's a a person that you are involved with that's like getting in the way or trying to convince you otherwise or trying to make you doubt yourself like i hope not cancer what is that wheel of fortune in the reverse? I have to I have to clarify this. Let me let me use this deck that I have out. Oh, and that's funny. The six of wands are at the bottom of the deck. Double confirmation. Okay, so this might be other people. Let's see underneath that six of wands, three of pentacles in the reverse. And I shuffled just so you know I did shuffle this deck prior to your reading, Cancer. Like before I started recording, I did like prep this deck. That's interesting. I feel like there could be lack of support or people that are just like spectating <laughs> they're not involved but they're just watching though they have eyes there's eyes on you yeah people are three of pentacles reverse in the nine of wands like here you are busting your ass off working your ass off determined to succeed no matter what that's also the king of wands for you he's determined to succeed and flourish and su be successful no matter what regardless of the challenges regardless of the setbacks regardless of how long it takes he's determined and like that's how you've been that's how you've been and the three of pentacles reverse representing lack of support especially in connections or relationships right we have lack of support and then we have that six of wands which is like people watching you but not supporting you or not not um not giving you not showing up for you anyways let me clarify this wheel of fortune reverse what is that wheel of fortune reverse why is the wheel of fortune reverse here okay this deck is more than ready <laughs> all right tell me about the wheel of fortune reverse for cancer world reversed with the Page of Swords. Wheel of Fortune reverse for Cancer. Nine of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. And the Two of Swords at the bottom. Um, yeah, the, like, there's, this, there's a bit of a... This could just be... A, your own self psyching yourself out self sabotaging here getting in your head getting your own way or like being your own block for sure um there might what is this backtrack or like it feels backtrack energy or you're needing to take a break or cool off from something um and at the bottom we have that five of pentacles ace of pentacles and then the two of swords it's like you have offers here look at this i feel like we had this card in your last reading Maybe I'm mixing it up with someone else, but you have all these offers here and you're not looking at them. You're not taking them or like you are going back and forth about whether or not you want to continue, whether or not you want to keep going. Maybe you need to take a break for a swords. We have the page of pentacles drawn up again and then the magician 
and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I see you, some of you just maybe you need to take a break. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you, you're being forced to, like, take a break or cool off or take a moment and reconsider or, like, huh. Okay, let's move on. Otherwise, we're going to get caught up on that and we got to keep moving. What time are we at? Okay, let's take a look into what this communication stuff is. Oops, Page of Cups. What is this Page of Cups about? For Cancer. So, you know, hold on. Before, before we move into that Page of Cups, remember when I clarified the Page of Pentacles and it showed up with the Tower, the Seven of Swords, and the Moon? It was kind of maybe like there's an unexpected setback or unexpected delay or unexpected like, hold on, pause, wait that kind of vibe maybe that's why i was getting, you know because there's that unexpected energy so it's like there, there could be some sort of like unexpected detour okay tell me this page of cups for cancer three of cups page of cups for cancer in october page of cups tribe coming out okay bet all right tell me this page of cups for cancer what is this communication? What is this message? Two of cups and the four of cups. Ten of cups at the bottom. Oh, look at all this. All this is cups. All this is emotions. That You know, that's why I was like, I'm going to use the mermaid deck to clarify that. So I'm seeing that there's a conversation. Okay, so maybe you are having a conversation with someone or a group of people. It could be multiple people with the three of cups. And there's like... I feel like there's a, an exchange about like disappointments or with that four of cups or two of cups, it's like you're kind of like letting it known of like what has you feeling bummed out or what, you know, you haven't been feeling, remember I was saying you haven't been feeling supported or there's like this lack of support or you've been feeling like you're just kind of, you might be discussing this with someone or like kind of like letting them know like you don't feel like appreciated or understood or heard or celebrated like some of you feel like you're not being celebrated the way that you would go out and celebrate other people and then when the rules are reversed it's like crickets or very bare minimum we have the ten of cups this could be someone like in family or someone you consider family someone that you live with or someone that you grew up with we have the three of swords it be it be the loved ones it be the ones you love the most they always say the things that lo you love the most can hurt the most and like literally what hurts more than family right right and we have the 10 oh sorry 10 of cups eight of pentacles six of pentacles and the wheel of fortune you know and the five of one, okay five of ones and the ten of pentacles i feel like there is this energy of like wanting to do better wanting to show up wanting to give more balanced reciprocated energy there is this desire for healing so let's take a look at a judgment will things be different this time around or is it just going to be the same? <laughs> Maybe it comes down to you. Let's just see. Tell me, tell me about judgment here. I think you're needing to express and communicate what, you, what you've been dealing with, what you've been feeling. Let it be known. Talk about judgment. Get out of your head. Eight of swords reversed. The lover's double confirmation so you have a decision again about some sort of relationship some sort of dynamic some sort of connection oh look at this the towers at the bottom so something significant a change adjustments there could be something to do with distance or separation um let's see talk about judgment maybe you and whoever you're dealing with you guys are just on two different pages two opposite sides or two different places like two different desires two different you know you guys maybe just aren't on the same page death Maybe that's the final choice, the final call is like, okay, you know what, like, we've kind of outgrown each other, maybe it's time to move on. Let's see. Not for everybody, of course. This could just be lovers and the death card is like, okay, we gotta make some changes so that it's more balanced and reciprocated or more, you know, something about this dynamic between you and I. Something's gotta change or there needs to be some clean up. Oh, I almost dropped the card. <laughs> there needs to be some sort of clean up, there needs to be some sort of healing, um, some sort of adjustment. We have Scorpio energy. We have the six, seven of wands. Okay, this might be a little uncomfy. Might be a little bit uncomfortable. Or I'm seeing that this conversation, because I think it's connected to that page of cups, 
there's a conversation being had and it's a little uncomfortable it might get a little tense maybe that's where you need to kind of step into the dragonfly energy of not giving too many fucks and kind of being more like detached from the emotions or expectations talking about judgment six of pentacles seven of cups is at the bottom like feeling a little overwhelmed queen of pentacles queen of cups there needs to be more like a fair equal give and receive there needs to be love and support and reciprocal energy um so that you're able to feel safe and secure and that you can be your most authentic self and you know it kind of appears like right now you don't really feel that way or you're feeling like you can't 100 percent be accepted or you kind of have to shape shift and mold to fit in like you know we look at this guy he's a scuba diver technically he's not really supposed to be underwater for that long there are these mermaids versus a human so it's kind of like you know throw a cat into a whole room of dogs that cat is gonna be like yo i gotta change for these dogs or vice versa there's a whole room of cats and one dog that dog's gonna be like shit i gotta change for all these cats it kind of is like i don't know can it mix sure there's some complications <laughs> does that make sense cats and dogs what the fuck <laughs> um there it shows that there can be there can be a positive outcome here but it has to be mutual it has to be 50 50 or like it, there has to be a balance and there has to you kind of have to have these uncomfortable talks there needs to be like transparency here open communication in order for there to be like improvements but everybody can get on the same page or whoever's involved whether it just be you and another person or it's a whole group see that everyone can get on the same page but there's a lot that needs to be discussed there's a lot that needs to be expressed there's a lot that hasn't been expressed or said that needs to be confronted and dealt with and it needs to be out in the open um so i guess we'll leave your reading here i hope this was helpful and insightful if it was, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe if you'd like to book a private reading with me. The info's in the description box down below. And I'm gonna let you go, Cancer. Take it easy, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.